hello friends welcome to the video lecture series on a machine learning so in this tutorial we are going to see another family of a plotting functionality which is nothing but the lag plot functionality so this lag plot functionality generally used to find the randomness in a data and this built-in functionality is already available in a pan python pandas library so i have already made some necessary imports uh, of pandas and uh, from the numpy library and from pandas i have specially imported this pandas tooling plotting module and out of that one sub module is a lag plot so we are going to uh, generate some uh, data or we'll supply some random um, data or we explicitly uh, give some very randomness kind of data and let's try to visualize that how this graph will be or plotting functionality will be helpful to find the randomness in a data so i have just created a simple uh, uh, series uh, object of this pandas and i have just supplied it one to nine uh, uh, number and i have assigned it to the data reference so let's just uh, s apply this uh, series data structure to the leg plot functionality so data okay now let's try to see what this leg plot is there leg plot is nothing but uh, it's a 2d scatter graph or a plot between yt and y t plus 1 okay so it is just a scatter plot between the y t and y t plus 1 so what is y t and y t plus 1 y t is the uh, series value at any given time t and y t plus 1 is the series value at a given time t plus 1 so for any time we have just given a very simple data 1 to 9 so if you look this carefully 1 is a y t then y t plus 1 become a 2 because that is nothing y t plus 1 is nothing but the future version of this y t basically so 1 comma 2 so it has generated displayed this 1 comma 2 then again 2 then y t plus 1 become 3 so 2 comma 3 it has generated then 3 comma 4 4 comma 5 so this way it has just uh, displayed this scatter plot between yt and yt plus 1 so if you observe that there is nothing like a randomness here it is closely following some kind of a structure so it is following one uh, line hmm, structure in this case so uh, this is how we can uh, visualize or we can find the randomness in a data now let's try to apply uh, little random data inside i have already written some small script for generating this uh, random series data structure so i am just using this uh, sign functionality plus line space functionality random functionality of this numpy library and we are going to generate somewhere around 100 point in a data set and let's try to plot it okay so if you see here actually there is uh, nothing like a uh, any kind of pattern or structure this data is uh, following because uh, we don't know where this data is going or in which uh, sp region of this space uh, this particular data is approaching so let's try to so generate some work more let's try to generate th th thousand and let's see okay now um, i have generated the more data so it is actually uh, giving us some glimpses that it is following some kind of structure which structure is uh, looks like an uh, ellipsoidal or ellipse uh, structure in a two dimension uh, space so that's why we can find that particular structure is exist in a data or not so this is uh, how we generated this random structure uh, whether uh, we can find the structure exists or not in a data now i have uh, again created a very random but not artificially generated uh, data very mm, anything i have uh, put inside this uh, while creating this series uh, data 4 47 48 28 
any numbers actually it's a three digit number sometimes a one digit two digit even a zero and a let's put anything actually so there is nothing someone can say that it is a uh, no randomness axis and let's try to put this in uh, or let's try to give it to the leg plot functionality and let's visualize it S okay so you can see it's still this data is a completely random so it is not at all following any kind of structure so 4 comma 47 somewhere around here because still it is following the visualization of yt to yt plus one graph so every pair it will take the first value it is a horizontal axis direction and the second value is nothing but the vertical axis dimension and it will just display the scatter plot but there is no uh, randomness exists but if you see uh, here 1 to 9 we got some random uh, I, I mean it is closely following some kind of structure the more data we have added in our second example we got some kind of structure the less data we had there is no structure because we don't know where it is going but this is one of the very useful plot while deciding factor that uh, what next step for the data processing we need to take so this is one of the very useful uh, plotting functionality is there so that's it for this lecture friends i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it